Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. So before we get into it, just want to say go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So hopefully you all can help me achieve that goal. So I've been playing PvP a lot and I've actually been enjoying myself. But while playing PvP, I'm trying to come up with, you know, just different teams. And this team right here, low-key, might actually be pretty good like good um so we got keel for the ignites obviously now with that zeldris helps out like immensely zeldris might actually be one of the main units like you have to have for this team because of the fact that he increases your basic stats for every debuff on the enemy that's very very strong and keep in mind keel does reduce damage when um when the ignites are applied so with chandler reducing their stats by seven percent per card used it's very very powerful so it's like it's very strong now obviously i have to use eskinor here because shocker right eskinor does a lot of damage now even though we don't have green gother right we're not using the glue eater team we do have very good support for my boy the one eskinor right so let's see okay we go first which is very good i don't i don't think he's using evasion food uh, i actually hope no he's not because he's um he's emoting first so what we'll do here just to make sure um that he doesn't you know attack seal me is we'll do as much damage as we possibly can on his eskinor now i tried this with chandler or not chandler but um ludosio as well it didn't work out the best because even though Lodosio does, you see what I mean? Like, he did a lot of damage. Even though Lodosio does decrease their defense related stats by 40%, um, you know, having Chandler here as backbone is very powerful because it'll reduce the damage that we take. So it's just very, very strong, right? Very, very strong indeed. So he's going to try and rush, I believe, Eskinor's ult, which isn't the worst strategy, I guess. So he's going to go for Keo. Makes sense because Keo's pretty much the main problem. Now, I'm going to rush um, my Eskinor's ult because I kind of have no choice. Because um, he's going to rush his, so it would only be fair that I rushed mine. Um, I will try and do a little bit of damage to his Eskinor, though. So, he put up the counter. He's going to remove it, right, with um, Elizabeth, obviously. But that's fine. As long as he doesn't have two stuns, we should be all right, right? We should be fine. Because if he gets his ult off, he can literally kill one of my units for free. And then the death damage takes care of another. So, if anything, have a stun and a barrier. Oh, God. Okay, does he have two stuns? I think he might have two stuns. Evasion? Oh, my. I have. <laughs> I didn't even. Okay. I completely forgot. I have Ludo. <laughs> I have Ludo as a association. <laughs> I have Ludo as a link. I completely forgot about that. Obviously, he didn't even he didn't even realize, but I completely forgot that I had like Ludo because of the fact that I just, you know, went into the video, you know, thinking I had Tarmio. Wow. That <laughs> that low key might have been the best mistake I ever made in this game because of the fact that he couldn't stun Chandler. He was, you know, like he was just he was just screwed no matter what, basically. So that kind of just <laughs> that sealed his fate. That was good. That was actually really, really good. Um, that was a good first match too, by the way. So yeah, this team is very, very um very, very good. Surprisingly, right? Is this the same person? It's the same exact person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, obviously, we got the same hand in everything. Okay. So, we do this. Um, I don't know if he's going to try and change up his tactic. He didn't switch food or anything, right? Because his CC would have been lower if he would have used evasion food. So, we're good. He quits. Okay. So, that was the same person. I'm just going to edit and cut this part out. But, uh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was good. All right, so hopefully it's not the same exact person. Okay, it's a different team, Assault Melee team. All right, um, if this isn't a bot, I honestly can't tell, like, if people are using evasion food. Like, I, I honest, honest to God can't. <sighs> what are the chances he is? I don't know, but I think, honestly, my best bet is probably just to rush Chandler's ult anyway, right? Because we're going to have debuffs on the team. 
so we should be okay like in terms of damage that they do we should be all right like we should be able to tank it to be honest uh chandler probably is going to rush his ult as well the good thing is i you know i have another counter which is actually very good um okay okay that is unfortunate that he did that right that's where zelders just comes in clutch because he can do um you know he can dissolve me he can do that debuff which does suck okay um hmm so obviously we do the you know full counter again well actually we do that we put up the full counter um i'm not i'm not even gonna try and hit chandler because i don't want to you know have his full counter do massive damage to me or something like that so i'm gonna like play it safe for now i guess you could say he does have immunity he actually is immune so i might have to try and go for the broke i might have to the only thing is he's reducing my stats so i guess i have to hit him with the level two first um then i'll hit him with the rank one uh and then i get i yeah i literally have no choice like i have to do it because if i don't oh that's a big hit even without the ignite you see that's that's why i didn't want to attack him for that exact reason because he just like he, that full counter did so much damage keep in mind this is a real person by the way like this is a real person um meliodas has three stacks but we are decreasing his um you know the damage that he does by i forgot how much kill decreases it by i think it's five percent per ignite okay so he does that this is okay it does nothing so that's really good i'm scared about his amplify because this might be <laughs> never mind <laughs> never mind it, it's not doing nothing to me okay um it's because of the fact that we have zelders on the back too right increasing our basic stats so let's see what Escanor's at he also has a 12 percent increase to his stats just from his passive too so yeah look at his max hp like yeah his crit though i mean that's not bad minus eight percent that's actually not bad um i'll take it i will definitely take it so yeah keo and keo zeldris right now though i'm not gonna lie they're coming in clutch this should one shot his assault melee yeah even without critting it still one shots his assault melee it kills zeldris we stop his um I guess his charge. We can't stop his stance, but we can stance up ourselves. Um, GG's. It was really fun. I'll give him a nod, you know, as appreciation for his his efforts. Nod, but this was fun. This was fun. I like this team. I've been having a blast with it. I'm not going to lie. I've been using it since yesterday, and it's just, it's so fun. It, it really is. We don't have Ignites on him, but I guess that really, eh, it, does, it doesn't really matter, huh? And then next turn we get kills all because even if i use chandlers it's not gonna work oh, but he gets alt next turn anyway huh i guess realistically it doesn't matter because it's nothing to do i'm just gonna i'm probably just gonna edit this part out because it's probably just gonna take too long anyway um yeah because he has a counter up well no no never mind this should finish him yeah, this definitely should finish him. I don't see him. Yeah. Esterosa, he just doesn't do enough on his counter. Like, if he had Chandler's counter, he would be insane, right? But he doesn't. So it's kind of just like, why even bother at this point? Um, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's just go ahead and let's get into the next match. All right, so this is going to be, what, the third match? Well, technically the fourth because oh okay he has some juicy cc all right glue eater team um definitely not running evasion food i know for a fact that he's not so what i'm actually gonna do is this and then i'm gonna stop gother from ranking up now if he has two elizabeth cards we're screwed right right if he has um you know a merge into a stun we're actually pretty screwed i do want to stop his rank ups though i feel like that's the most important thing uh, we have the counter up, so we don't got to worry about that. He can't stun. Ooh, that's big. That's that's really good. Um, Because of the fact that we just merged into a rank three Keo, 
I like that a lot. So, okay, he... Mm. I don't think he realized... <laughs> I honestly don't think he realized that um, Chandler does what he does. So, I'll just let that one slide, I guess, right? Um, but what we're going to do is, again, we don't want him to dissolve us. I am going to merge on um, my homeboy Chandler. And we just, again, put as much damage out on Escanor as possible. Like, that's literally all we want to do. And then next turn, we take off the revive and we clean white with um, Chandler's passive. Yeah, no, this was a this was a clean game. Again, don't don't think he real. Maybe he was trying to get rid of cards. I'm just trying to see what, what the tactic was behind that. Maybe he was trying to remove cards for Elizabeth's barrier or something like that. Um, maybe. I, I don't know. If Keo goes down here, though, we could be in trouble. Right? We could be in trouble. I don't got to worry about the dissolve, so we're, we're fine with that. Okay, so he was trying to put up the barrier. So, unfortunately, I I have to use Chandler's ult. I, I literally have to. Because it's going to it's gonna stop the charge, but we should be okay. I'm... I gotta kill his... I, I literally have to kill his Escanor. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. I literally have to. So, Escanor dies here. On the back, I'm assuming he has lost Bane. But we should be okay. Unless something goes like... Oh, it kills him anyway. Oh, it killed him anyway. Wow. Okay. So... Wow, Chandler was actually enough to kill him, which actually surprises me. But um, we lose ult with Escanor, but he can't stun Escanor or anything like that. So we should be fine. Um, Escanor has no cards. He merged Elizabeth. Now, is that a stun or a barrier? I'm hoping it's not a stun and he, you know, he stuns a Keo. Because we can, we can end this. If Keo lives, we can end this. Like, we actually can stop this from uh, going south. Stun? Okay, so he stuns Chandler, but I think he has one more Elizabeth card. So please don't be another stun. Oh, it's over. Okay, never mind. It, it's over. Um, <laughs> You know, like, this literally is the end. So what we do here is... So we do this, right? Huh. I... Alright. No, I, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna do what I was gonna do. Um, we kill Elizabeth here. Uh, we kill Gother. We, we kill Gother. And then... Oh, I was trying to do it before I ran out of time. So that kills Elizabeth, but I ran out of time because I was thinking too much. Okay, so we... Okay, sure. I mean, we can... Ooh, we can definitely take out... Yeah, we won. We're taking out Meliodas next turn for sure with the, <laughs> with the one. Meli can't really do much. Like, Lost Vane really can't do much. Like, even if he ranks up into a, a rank three single target skill, he can't do anything. Like, legit. I, I promise you. Because we still have Chandler working for us, right? So, he can't do much. Yeah, see? Like, that's going to do nothing. Yeah, we can finish this. Or he just forfeits. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. This team is, again, this team is very powerful. Very, very powerful indeed. Um, I like it a lot. I really, really do like this team. And, you know, keep in mind, Keo is, what, going on... He's not a year old, but he is going on, what, seven, maybe eight months old? Because KOF dropped on Halloween last year. So he is, he's getting there, man. He's getting up there in age. He's, you know, creeping up on a year and a couple months. So he's still good. He is still good, especially with the meta and how it is now. When Purgatory Bond drops, Kale's actually a pretty decent option to run with Bond, you know, having ignites helping bond do damage even though bond is based off of max hp keo's ignites still help him a lot so it's like you know what i mean it's still very very good this is the same person no it's not the same person it's a different one all right so is he using evasion food i don't know um i hope he's not oh okay no never mind it's a buy it's it's a buy i'm gonna i'm still gonna keep this in regardless but this is a very fun team 
a very, very fun team. If you have all three of these units, I probably would recommend, like, if you're just trying to, you know, play casual, I would recommend this team. Like, it's very good. You got debuffs. You got Zeldas on the back. Again, this does... Ooh, I like that. This does require Zeldas, kinda, because Zeldas, again, he may not be on the front lines, but him supporting us with his passive, 2% per debuff for the basic stats is very nice. Very, very good indeed. Okay, um, we stopped his, you know, dissolve, so I don't care about that at all. He can't stun, yeah, he can't stun Chandler even if he wanted to. He, ooh, but he could. Just keeping it safe, I'm gonna be honest, just to keep it safe, I don't know if Chandler would be able to break through the barrier, but, um, just to keep it, you know, on the safe side, we're going to stop Elizabeth from any shenanigans that she might try to pull with removing our um, our stance. I don't want her to, you know, try and stun Chandler and her remove the stance because that would piss me off, right? That would actually piss me off, especially considering we got a rank three counter. Um, Yeah, that would, that would make me absolutely mad. I think, honestly, we proc revive here. We definitely proc revive here. Yeah, there was no, there was no debate about that one. We proc revive. Um, yeah, we we end it. We full send it on Gother. Uh, we should be okay. Yeah, this is this is the end. I mean, it's against a bot, right? So you gotta, you know, you gotta understand that they're they're just naturally weaker when you face bots. Sometimes bots just be strong, like for no reason. They just they're literally just they're built different, right? So uh yeah, but I guess we can just skip this and go to the next match, right? I mean this wasn't as exciting anyway. So yeah, let's just go ahead and let's skip to the next match. Alright, I'll probably make this the last match. Ooh, okay, we're going up against an assault melee team, which is very, very nice. Um Okay, yeah, I'll probably end up making this the last match. Okay, so he has he merged into an assault melee. So I want to play this as safe as possible. I actually, yeah, I'm actually going to try and play this as safe as possible. Um, All right, so we taunt up, right? Which is good because we don't have to worry about Droll freezing us because we have Ludo as a, a grace. So we're okay in that regard. Even if, even if like Meliodas gives a, like a rank three amplify for some ungod known reason, we won't give him stacks. So we'll be okay. Taunts up. Pretty good, pretty good. We'll counter. 18k, eh, whatever. All right, rank one. Uh, we're gonna rush. Yeah, we're actually gonna rush um, ult with Keo and Chandler. So Chandler gets his ultimate. We use that. It's not, I don't think it kills anybody, right? I, mm, I, yeah, okay. Well, I was gonna say, maybe if I targeted uh you know, Melascula, it would have, but it's, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, no damage. Yeah. It's over. Um, what do I want to do? Cause he has resistance cause we didn't hit him. So I think our, I literally think the best course is just to do this. And he only gets one resistance buff. The thing is with Keo. Because I think Assault Melee lives. The thing is with Keo, right? Um, this kind of screws him over. Even with Ignite's on. Ooh, okay. We okay. We actually kill Melascula, which is very good. We take out Droll, and then we stop some uh, shenanigans from Assault Melee. Yeah, this team is good. <laughs> this team is very good. Um, it's not top tier broken OP, but it's good. I would say it's good. But uh, yeah, so this this worked out perfectly. I mean, we got a uh, you know a few real matches. We got a obviously a few bots, but you know, give or take, you could get what you get. Uh, maybe I should try this in gear. The only reason I'm a little hesitant in gear is because of the fact I don't have equipment for Keo. Um, I guess I could make equipment if I really like really really wanted to, but I mean, do I really want to go through that hassle? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can. Maybe I can. If a, I don't know. If a lot of people want it, I guess I could. Maybe I'll put it in a vote in the community tab or something like that. But, um, yeah, we'll see. But I, I really did enjoy this team. It was fun. 
using Kiowa again. It's always fun using old units, right? Always fun using old units, even if they're not meta, because of the fact that we always see Escanor, Assault Meli, um, you know, the one, uh, not the one, but uh, Elizabeth, Gother. You know, we always see those units, so it's always nice to bring back units that haven't, you know, had a chance to shine in a couple months to, to a year. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it's nice. It's nice. This is a very fun team. Zelda is helping out on the back. Keo obviously helping out with the Ignites. Chandler reducing damage from take with his passive. Very, very strong team. Effective, you could see by the uh, the matches we played. So if you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like, comment. And uh, yeah, guys, you already know. I will see you all next time.